channel so today i'll be filming my go-to makeup look everyone's been asking like how do you do your makeup like that so i decided to film this for you guys it's just a quick look i'm on my way out i'm really late so i got to go but yeah got to go but yeah i hope you guys like this video if you're new here don't forget to subscribe if you like my content and if you're returning thank you so much for all the support guys hey guys so here we have our fenty beauty um setting powder in the shade honey i use that to set my lids because whenever i do my brows i bring the concealer all the way down to my lids so it can act as a primer because i don't use eyeshadow primers no specific reason i just think that's just buying more makeup i might try it out sometime who knows here you see me with a brush um i think it's called a smudge brush or a smudger I, I have no clue guys but it's a tiny brush with a lot of bristles compact bristles so i use it to pat the fenty um setting powder onto my lids so it doesn't crease and this also helps to pop the shadow you the eyeshadow color you put on the um the eye because it acts as a base type of thing so whatever i do on one lid of course i'm going to repeat it on the other one <sighs> guys i was listening to soca music i love soca music i was having a whole vibe right here <laughs> anyways um i use the juvia's place palette I don't remember what it's called, but you'll see a picture of it. Oh, here I'm moisturizing my lips. I always moisturize my lips before I do my makeup. It's just a regular lip balm. doesn't matter. Whatever works for your lips. I use the Juvia's Place um, eyeshadow palette. It's a, like a nude one. I'll link everything below in the description box. I use like a chocolate, um, I shouldn't say chocolate brown. It's like a dark brown color that I use over my lids. I use a angled shadow brush to apply this to my lids. I first start with the um, crease area of my lid and then I blend. So you'll see me doing that. And I do it in like um, windshield wiper motion. For some areas, I do um, pat the shadow on. Like for my lid areas, I do pat the shadow on. But all the other areas, I blend. So I'll repeat the same step on the other lid. It's pretty... Um, I guess you could just look at it and know. Because that's how uh, I think is best. Um... I think I've explained it well enough. See, that's where I pat the shadow on. And then I blend it to make sure it's even. It's the way I like it. So you just look at it, eyeball it, and then you decide, okay, if this is good enough. And I go ahead and I repeat the same step on the other lid.
after I'm done um, doing my shadows, this is where I apply my lashes. I was just looking at my brows and I realized like the middle of my brows are not even, but it's hard to fix your brows once it's like once your shadow is on because that's just gonna make a mess and i wasn't up for it so here i'm just choosing which one of the lashes i want to um use guys i don't know i can't wear small lashes anymore i'm all for my 25 mm dramatic uh, listen that's me so i went ahead and i applied my lashes off camera because I didn't want you guys to see me struggling with my nails. I can't apply my lashes well with my nails. So I, I don't want to be on camera doing that. Yeah. So I'm back. My lashes are on. Now we're going to apply our foundation. I use the Fenty foundation. Um, Pro Matte, I think. Yeah, it's the matte one I use. In shade 385. I'll also... Guys, I'm going to link everything down below. I do have two foundations. I have um, one for summertime, one for wintertime. I get a little bit pale in the wintertime, so I do a lighter foundation. So this is my winter foundation because I haven't gotten a tan yet. And I know you're going to say it's lighter than my skin, but this is the way I like my foundation. I use a foundation brush to just apply the foundation all over my face then I get, I don't know what those brushes are called. And I use that to pat it in. I don't wipe. I pat. I might look very aggressive with my face right now, but I wasn't. I wasn't feeling anything. I just pat that into my skin. I try to push it into my skin. Yeah, so that's what I do here. Um, making sure that it gets in all the areas. Because recently I have a lot of blemishes which I'm working on. Um, I don't normally have blemishes, but I guess my hormones are all over the place. But yeah, I pat that in. I do blend onto my neck so it doesn't look like a mask. I normally blend onto my ears. I don't know why I was rushing. I was so late, but I also needed to get this video done. So it was whatever at this point in time. For my forehead... I use this smaller brush, a smaller foundation brush to apply the makeup. Then I use a smaller brush to press it in also. The thing is, most times I'm wearing um, a lace wig or my hair is almost, it's like halfway to, through the styling process. So I don't want to get makeup all up in my hair and I'm not trying to mess the brows up that I just did, which I still messed it up, but that was an easy fix. So I used the smaller foundation brush to get into the smaller areas. Then I used the other brush to pat it into my skin. Trust me, when you're wearing a lace wig, the worst thing ever is to get makeup all over it. Or with whatever you do to your hair, you don't want to get makeup all over it. So I used a smaller brush for that. I think that's a good tip, um, tip for you guys. Yeah, see a smaller brush to blend um, that in. So I pat it into my skin. Make sure it's evenly distributed. And all the areas have um, coverage. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing here. Guys, always blend, blend, blend. It's never enough. It's never well. It's never too much. I should say. You don't want um harsh um lines. You don't want some areas to have more makeup than some. So make sure you blend. Look at your face. Make sure it looks. It doesn't look like a mask that you just slap onto your face. Just make sure you blend everything in. Then I get my concealer. I use the LA Girls Pro Concealer in the shade Pure Beige. My concealer is two shades lighter than my foundation. That's, that's the way your concealer should be. Two shades lighter or one shade lighter than your foundation. I use that to highlight under my eye area, the bridge of my nose, and over my lips. I normally do my um, chin. But honestly, guys, I was in such a rush. I I didn't do my chin. 
Also, I normally add my concealer and my um, contour at the same time. But you will realize in this video that I added my concealer, blended it out, and then add my contour um, shade on, which is not what I normally do. It was just that I honestly forgot a step. And I also forgot to put a primer on, which a primer is the base of everything. I did, however, moisturize before I came on camera. I moisturized before I did my brows. Moisturizing is key because we I use a lot of matte um, products. You need to put like a protective layer over your skin, guys. So always put a moisturizer on and also your primer. Primer is so good. Smooths out the skin. It helps with the pores. So yeah. Here I got a beauty blender. I get my beauty blenders, um, blenders from Amazon. Nothing special. I use my Maybelline um, setting spray. I'll link it down below. I think I got that on Amazon too. I use it because you need a damp beauty blender. So I use my setting spray to get the beauty blender damp. And then as usual, I pat this into my skin all the way up to my airline area under my eyes look a little bit weird because when i was applying my lashes the glue got there but i'll fix that later yeah and then pat the other side in also so that's what i'm doing guys please don't wipe pat into your skin dab 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 pat 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 whichever one you prefer just go ahead and do that. I normally and um normally meet the under eye area with the over over the lip area. Like yeah, if you get what I'm trying to say, you'll see it. So now you're gonna see me applying the contour shade. This is also Maybelline in shade Mocha. I will link this down below because I did get this on Amazon. Your contour shade should be two shades darker than your foundation or darker than your skin, whichever. It depends on how dramatic you want to because I don't really like a dramatic contour. I use my Real Technique brush and I use that to blend it out. You just look at the motion that I'm using. And you want to try to blend it into the concealer so it doesn't have like an arch line. I don't normally do my forehead. I don't know what I was doing here. I don't normally do my forehead, guys. Um, it's really... Normally, I would use maybe like a um, powder version of the contour to do it. But yeah, I was using cream contour and I don't know what I was doing there. You see, I went back in with the brush to blend because, of course, it looks harsh. I look weird. So I did that and I blend the um, nose bridge area. I also, I just, I lighted it. I did not do contour on my nose. I, most times I mess it up and um, I wasn't about that. I wasn't about that, honestly. Then I'm going to set this area using my Fenty setting powder in the shade Honey. I use a beauty blender to put it on and then um, I don't bake, guys. I just use the beauty blender to put it on, press it into my skin and then um, brush the excess off. You can use your brush to press it into your skin too because I do that sometimes. And then I just brush the excess off. Make sure you brush this off properly. Make sure you blend. Because you don't want to get setting powder. Anywhere you put that setting powder and you have it stay. That's you, If you have any arch lines, you have any creasing. Everything is just going to set right there. And I, I, I don't know if you can fix it. Because I don't know how to fix it. So yeah, I, I removed the excess setting powder. Now I'm going to use the beauty blender to um, 
I guess this brings out the highlight more. I just use the setting powder, the same Fenty setting powder. Get it on the, get the beauty blender and draw like a line directly under the contour area. It does makes it pop. It makes it pop more. Um, yeah. And guys, use less than build up. I was using less and I just went in and got way too much. And then I had to fix it. Um, I just used my, uh, the brush I used to blend out the contour to fix it after. You will see me doing that soon. Because I think I messed it up a little bit. Yeah, see? I'm fixing it there. Yeah. Okay, the next thing I do is, I think I do my eyes here. Yeah, I do my eyes. So I have this um, gel. Um, I don't know what you call Is it gel or... It's like a gel brow um, thing. I got it from Juvia's Place. I have it in both the dark brown and the black. I use the black to line under my eyes. So I just, Juvia Place also gave me that angled brush. So I use it to um, line under my eye. I just dip it in the um, brow dip and then I line my eyes. I do that on both sides. Be careful guys because you don't want to make a mess messy eyeliner is it's not cute then i get my um, mascara this is from maybelline also i th i think i got it from amazon but i'll check my cart um my order history and see and i'll attach that down below also You want to wipe the excess off your mascara. My mom taught me this um, a long time ago. Whenever I pull the mascara up, I wipe the excess onto the um, container. And then I do my bottom lashes. I also put mascara on my lashes under um, the falsies. Yeah. And the next thing I do is I get my um, bronzer. It, it's a Morphe, uh, Morph, Morph, Morphe. Uh, guys, I don't know. I pronounce it uh, Morphe. Um, in the tail blazer, I think. I'll put the shade down below. Now, I use this Milani compact powder to add color back to my face. This, I get it from Jamaica. My dad brings it here for me all the time. I have an extra one, so don't mind me. It's almost done, but I have, I always have backup. I use it in the shade Warm. And I just use it to bring back some color to my face. I just got this um, blush from NARS. It's in the shade Orgasm X. I don't normally wear blush, but I'm trying to see how this looks to see if I like it, to see if it's something I want to add to my makeup. So yeah, I, um, I'm putting on blush here. So don't mind me if I'm not putting it on right, but, and I don't use a lot. On top of blush, I still always highlight with my, um, I think it's a Maybelline Master Chrome in golden, the shade golden. I use that to highlight. I, you didn't see it in the video because I stopped the video before, but I did it after I set my face. That's the same setting spray. It's a Maybelline setting spray. I use the same light lip line, um, brow liner I used to do my brows. It's in the shade uh, dark brown. I use that to line my lips. Then I use a beauty store um, lip gloss 
it's the kiss one i don't remember the shade it's just look it looks really creamy so i just um i got that to get like that nude look yeah i got that from the beauty beauty supply store okay guys so i'm so late this is the final look yeah comment below um if you have any questions i'll definitely answer them so yeah this is my goal <laughs>